He's the worst detective I think I've ever seen. <laughs> He's definitely worse than like even like the sort of classic cliche bumbling detectives. He's no, like even yeah. worse than them. That's all an act. He's not like doing um this isn't some sort of misdirection a misdirection thing. This is him being him. <laughs> He's just awful at it. Where can we put that small key? Um Oh no. Okay, let's go down the list while we're here. We found Fabiani, he is having a dinner. Uh, a lunch. I didn't hear anything about it. What? Whoa, that was a... Uh, what was that? That? Okay, yeah, we did have that. Before. What do you think about Rebecca, I wonder, Fabiani? I never thought that Nicholas would remarry. When he introduced us to Rebecca, we were all a little bit surprised. It was done very fast. A civil ceremony. A few witnesses. And imagine that I was not even consulted. Indeed, Rebecca is an ambitious woman. Okay. Uh, we had that. We did these, I think, but I'll click them. I didn't know about it. Uh, Dick and Rebecca's dispute, that was. This is like a literal fight, isn't it? Yeah, like they... Rebecca During the attacked. will reading, or... Yeah, I think so, yeah. during the will thing. Okay, like Tom ago. Rebecca's plot, which I think we've had. He doesn't know anything about that either. Um, Daphne and Rebecca's relationship. There isn't any. To put it simply, they ignore each other. It's better this way, as each the girl has her own mind. I believe that Daphne would not tolerate Rebecca's character for very long. Rebecca is an ambitious and arrogant woman. She is ready to do anything to get what she wants. Not at all like Daphne's mother, a quiet and gentle person. Some real shade coming at Rebecca. Right. Yeah. No one's fond of her, and she feels... Admittedly, I don't think she's the murderer. Ooh. You're ruling her out already. Yeah, she just doesn't Rebecca. seem... She doesn't seem the type. <laughs> <laughs> just based on all the stuff, like, it's... Apart from all the knife stuff. Yeah, I just... I don't know. It seems... I, I see, well, my initial suspicions... No, I didn't have any initial suspicions. They didn't know anyone. Um, my, my, um, sort of when we sort of knew everyone, once we'd met everyone. Yeah. I think I was kind of between. Uh, Dick and Daphne at the time, but now I'm not so sure. But I don't. I just I don't know. Rebecca seems like a really like. Um, oh no! Like uh, they. It's painted as really ambitious and stuff. I just don't feel like there's anything to gain. Yeah, I mean, you have to think about what this con context is with what we know. So, Rebecca was married to Nick Nicholas. It was a recent marriage. She's all over Wanted Tom. Wanted to get the money. Yeah, she's interested in money and ambition. But neither Tom nor Nicholas, Tom... from my understanding, have particularly any... <laughs> Well, Nicholas is rich, I guess, but what we don't know is what on earth is going on with all this money stuff in the background and some shady dealings with Hector. There's some involvement with this guy um, that we need to consider. Um, mm. Tom has no money either, or he has no money, less money, you would say, probably than Nicholas. Which well, would... if if he was making those purchases. Those purchases were done in the name of the Nicholas 
business side of things, though, because that silver necklace was for Rebecca. Yeah. But was clearly Nicholas knew about that because it was in his. Yeah, did he know about thing. it or did he find out about it, though? I, I just feel like it was a business transaction now. Involving a necklace. Yeah, as in, like, he, he told him to get get a necklace. Oh, okay. He's in asking using... to procure, uh, acquire one. Yeah, um, basically. Sure. I think it was just to do with the business. Okay, well, that's fair enough. Um, Daphne is his daughter. She doesn't like him, and he's trying... Or she didn't like the fact that they were trying to arrange this marriage. But I don't really know what else there is there. Uh, Dick has um, inherited... Yeah, I'm at the time Dick is was really confusing because he didn't really have anything. <laughs> he's just a weird extra. That was why but, he had like, no that's... place. But that's why he's like just like it's hard to work out any motivation, but it's also just hard to work out why he's there in the first place, so it's quite Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Like, well I mean he's we're... suspect I think he's suspect just for being here. <laughs> I would have, like nobody would actively choose to come on this cruise with a bunch of strangers. Yeah, I don't know why he's here. It seems odd. Um, if anything, I feel like he's a target for murder because. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like I would have expected him. him to get murdered, mm. which was why that was the motive I gave him, wasn't it? If he thought he was going to get murdered, he might murder first. Self-defense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. But um, I'm not sure. Well, Still, really. Keep compiling those mental notes and building your mind palace up. All right. Uh, Rose. Rose is the solicitor Melville's daughter. She is shy and reserved. Tom. Hmm. Difficult. Tom doesn't dedicate much time to his wife. Truthfully speaking, I don't think he has ever given her much attention. Even before they were married. Why did she marry? I mean, do you think this was just literally... How did he get in on that? Like, <laughs> I don't know. We understand, like, why he's doing it. Why his motivation... What his motivation is, he wanted to get into this solicitor's business. But did she have any say in this at all? Like, is she just a pawn? Um... Uh, it's hard to know, really. She mm. seems to believe it's going well. Or at least she outwardly was saying that it's fine. Yeah. So. It is not a happy marriage. That is, This is the least I can say. Oh, here we go. Certainly, as far as Rose is concerned, however, it doesn't really seem to bother Tom. If you want my opinion, this guy is a scoundrel. Oh, wow. That's a lot stronger than your actual <laughs> response of just asking how, what, you know, who Tom is. Yeah. yeah. They mostly stick to he's a bit ambitious, but then when you dig in a bit deeper, it's like, he's a prick. <laughs> <laughs> we all hate him like we do with all our friends. We all hate each other. Yeah, we come on this boat to hate. I... That's what we're here for, to slag each other off in our own little rooms. <laughs> it's lucky you're here, really, because otherwise we'd be doing it to the air. Or just to the few people that we are friends <laughs> with. To the various help that appears. <laughs> like, yes, I'd like an apple. And that guy sucks. <laughs> um, Rose never had a chance. Before meeting Tom, she was engaged to a young man, Raphael Lambert. Oh no. A right jerk as well. Oh, Raphael Lambert was a jerk. Don't remember, I've given him a French. <laughs> yeah, you don't just say Lambert. No, Raph Lambert. Only a few days after their engagement, Raphael was found in a brothel, dead drunk with a creature of little known virtue you can imagine the scandal rose's father solicitor melville got rid of the swine but poor rose never got over his deception we haven't seen lambert since 
that's a bit of backstory there for Rose then. Yeah. Um, I presume this is the guy then that they were talking about when they mentioned like her difficult previous relationship. Yeah. Um, but then, okay, so they just engaged a few days later. He's in a brothel with a harlot. Um, but then I don't know how soon Tom gets on the scene there. Uh, Next day. <laughs> he's a fast mover. He's ambitious, Tom. Super ambitious. Okay. Poker, Poker game. game. Here you we go. Talk. This he's is what we're here. Talk about it. <laughs> he's not going to talk about it. Nothing happened. I think Hector's going to talk about it. Oh, yeah. Ah. Yeah. I prefer not to talk about it. I mean, I do want to show him the pocket watch, though. That's uh, the... Oh, oh yeah, look, the <laughs> look what we found. Uh, nothing on Suze? Oh, Daphne, right. Uh, Nicholas' first wife, Inspector. Mercedes and Nicholas were the perfect couple. Okay. Uh, we did that one. Daphne's Rebellion. You are right. She hated everything that was imposed on her. She is a brilliant young girl. Okay. Uh, yeah, we did that one. I didn't know about it. Yeah, we had that. Uh, Hector, no. Various pocket watch. This doesn't belong to me. <laughs> oh. oh, look at those big bulging eyes. I don't trust you, Fabiardi. <laughs> we found it in his um. In did we? His cupboard, well, he's yeah. he's rooming with Dick. So did we definitely find it, it with was, his stuff? It was it was his cupboard. It had his cassock. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I mean, there's no one, there's no nothing to say it wasn't put there. It yeah. could have been planted. Ooh. As with everything that we find, it has been planted because it wasn't there previously. <laughs> we just found a key in a pot. Yeah, that yeah. doesn't make any sense. It's so presumably not the key pot. Um, these were terribly hard times for Nicholas. I thought he would never get over it. He was a broken man. Okay. Yeah, we had that. When Agnes fell ill, Nicholas let her stay at his house to take care of her. Alas, God called for her. Agnes left us three months ago, leaving behind the entire fortune of the Carabajan family. There's a lot of stake there, then. She had We're all the money. We're getting a lot of difference in the months. Yeah, did you... We've been told two and three for her death and one month for the will reading. Yeah, maybe it's on the borderline. Maybe it's sketchy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. People round differently. A huge fortune, Inspector. She willed almost all of it to her son, an illegitimate child. The rest... Went to Daphne. Oh, a tragic error of youth, Inspector. Agnes was twenty years old. She was a beautiful young girl. Oh. Oh, we had... No. What? But why? I think because it was taking us out of the ah. So it did whatever clues we just did and then played the cutscene. Fair enough. Like, that made it seem like we just gained that again, but we didn't, I don't think. <laughs> it's like secret extra time. Um, Mercedes was an admirable woman, Inspector. Her sweetness and gentleness contrasted strongly with Nicholas's character, who was bitter and hard. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, that is such a dig. <laughs> I never understood how such opposites 
good and evil got along, Niklos was decimated by her death. Um, did, did we, we just get death at the top? Oh, or? yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's weird that it's slotted in at the top. Yeah, um, it's like it's not alphabetical <laughs> or something. Niklos gave her the car for their sixth wedding anniversary. I think he still regrets it, as it killed her, as he <laughs> believes he was fully responsible for his wife's death. Okay, I mean, fair. Okay. Uh, or expected, anyway, <laughs> I suppose. It was a real tragedy for Daphne and Niklos. Okay. I think we're done. Yeah. With the father. What's he eating now? Do you think it's the same as it was? It's a good little meal, apparently. <laughs> Any suggestions on where we try and insert this key. I have literally no clue. I okay. don't think there's anything we've gained or seen that requires a tiny key. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I don't think we've seen a tiny key lock. Has anything um, been locked? No, well, only the thing downstairs in the bureau, which we've unlocked. Um... I don't remember there being anything in there. There's a there's a door with like um wood all over it, which I think we need we'll presumably need to open at some maybe, point. Maybe maybe the tight small key is for that little hatch that's near the base of the ship. Uh, outside Hector's room. Let's have a look. This guy. No no no, uh well I mean it could be that, to be honest. I completely forgot about that. No. Let's just see if it's not that then. Um, no, my, I was talking about the one that's like right at the bottom. It's got like a little um, it's a little grate on it. It's like a metal construction thing. Where for the was... ship? Oh, in the in the ship. Yeah, yeah, in the engine room. Oh, okay. Uh... Oh, that cab. That little. This guy? Yeah, that little thing. Okay, let's try. No. No, fair enough. All right, um, let's go back up. And, because I think, again... Hector. Oh, yeah, we do want to talk to Hector if he's still with us, actually. Oh, Hector is not about. Oh, has he... he dropped anything? We can rifle through his things. He's got a padlock on his on his thing. On his cupboard. He's got a single shoe. My size fourteen <laughs> is not going to fit into this little size nine. <laughs> Jesus, what a strange <laughs> flex. <laughs> can I take his shoe? <laughs> if I trust my nose. I'd better leave it here. Pleasant. Okay. We tried to take the basin. There's a calcium deposit inside the basin. I don't see the point. It's fair. I also do not see the point. So let's hope it's not a combination lock. The uh, padlock combination. Uh, has four numbers, Mark. <laughs> the padlock has a thousand different combinations. What was the one on the... What was on the mermaid? Oh, oh, God, I wrote that down ages ago. Well, I'll start by O, one, two... Oh. Super! I found the... Huh? False alert! But one of the numbers is stuck. That leaves me with 999 possible comments. This is how he's really <laughs> no, going to no. tackle this problem. Also, that's not, how, that's not math. 
<laughs> well, know. I'm sick of it. <laughs> I give up. Oh man, Raul is the best. <laughs> He's like the absolute worst detective that has ever existed, ever. <laughs> he started so methodically. <laughs> we don't really have it. It's like 1A, 2A, 4A, and 1A is the code from the mermaid. 1A, 2A. Oh, what? Did you exactly. say? They one, were all 1, 2, 4, 1. 1, 2, 4, 1. But it's all A as well, so I don't know what that means. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I mean, we clearly have to unlock that, though. Hmm, a stiff sheet. That's the best. <laughs> I have to assume he means starched, and that's a translation thing. <laughs> I think he likes stiff sheets. Because <laughs> that just... that's awful, otherwise. Ah, oh, look under the bed. Phew, what a smell. It's unbelievable. Is that it? Okay. A wooden mattress without springs. Even in the army it was better than this. <laughs> Raoul was in the army. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't believe that for a second. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the stuffed feather pillow. He must mm. be bullied. What a lardy da. Honestly, I prefer mine. What's that thing behind him? The stick. stick. There must be some point to being in this room. This rod is full of axle grease. Covered. Full. No. I don't feel like getting my hands dirty. Make the box fall. <laughs> the initials B, D are engraved here. I can't. It's too high. You, Your arms can reach that. And if it breaks, I'll be in trouble. What's the square? I don't know. This corner plate is held in place by two large screws. I will need a crosshead screwdriver. I think oh maybe we do need to unscrew this so we can shake this to drop that box and then get that box. Why would it tell us the initials if it wasn't pertinent? What's Who's BD? Um... It may be his old name. Oh, yeah, we don't know anything about this man except he's some sort of horrible sex offender. <laughs> yeah. Um. Cool. Well, I hope we get to come in here again without him. Uh, but the question is, where is he and can we speak to him? Yeah, maybe he's like, I don't know. Let's just check I don't know where he office. would hang out. This is where he would hang out. 